everybody, it's Mako, and today we're going back to play Trails in the Sky. Um, we are going to go and um, pick up some where we last left off. I think was just doing the like starting quest to Bose. Um, we did meet Olivert, but he didn't join our party, so that's a story for another time. But you know what? Let's just get into this. We will have some fun and hopefully no one will die. I'm not gonna hold my back, but you know how it is. You know how it is. Okay. So we are here. Look at us. Yeah. Okay, yep. Oh, we were looking for the general. That's right. How in the world did you guys get through? The barricade hasn't been lifted on the Eisen Road yet. We came here on an errand for Mayor Mabel. Let's say. Did you? Do you think you could get us in to see General Morgan? Joshua explained what the mayor requested without disclosing his identity. Well, that's understandable. In that case, I could definitely get you in to see the general, but unfortunately, he's out at the moment. He's actually spearheading a number of searches right now. Looks like our timing was bad. You don't happen to have an idea when he's I think he'll be back sometime today. There's a bar in that rest stop over there, so why don't you wait there for him? I'll let you know when he gets back. The bar? You mean the place we were just at? Why is there a bar in a place like this anyway? Obviously, because this is the border with the Empire. The screening process for those entering and leaving the country is really strict, so there are a lot of travelers who have to wait it quite a bit. That makes a lot of sense. In that case, it's understandable that you would need facilities like an inn or bar. Well then, I'll pick you up on your suggestion and wait for the bar. Okay. So let's go back into the bar. Yep, yep, yep. It's all good. Uh -huh. In the door spell thing. Good day and welcome to our humble establishment on the outskirts of Fuzzy. This is the bar, we've got wine to drink and food to eat. Just don't expect anything too elaborate. Thank you so much. Um, do I have any money? I do not. Wow. I spent all my money. <laughs> um, oh, we don't have any of these, but we can actually make them. And then we don't have this either. Um, so we'll have to go get some money. We've been slacking here. Okay. I'm a merchant from the Erebonian Empire, and I'm on my way to Bose. Oh, that's good, I guess. Something like that. I mean, if you, you should, I guess you haven't been okay yet, so. What else? And then there's this suspicious guy over here at the bar. Let's talk to this chick. That blonde haired man out there is rather handsome and well dressed. But after talking to him, I found him to be a little odd. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's odd. Um, yeah. I can totally, totally maneuver. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, yeah. Okay. Good day to you all, my fine friend. You appear to be citizens of the world. But may I ask if you're traveling to the Empire? No, we're just here over there. We're not traveling to the Empire. You appear to be a citizen of Erebonia yourself. What about you? Are you here to visit the Barrel Kingdom? Huh. I'm glad you asked. I am indeed a visitor, a visitor in the Barrel, both for work and for pleasure. And you? You say you're running an errand, but I can see your true colors. I know exactly who you are. Who we are? Indeed. Your bracers, now. How do you know we've removed our bracer emblems? Wait, are you trying to tell us that you're in the same profession? 
It's true that there are guild branches in the Empire, but I'm actually not a bracer. I just know several people in the guild, that's all. And there's an air about you that reminded me of them, so I just thought I'd ask. Those are some excellent deductive reasoning skills you've got. I don't think an amateur could have picked us out of a crowd like that. Uh, are you sure you're a traveler? Uh huh. Please don't look at me with such suspicious eyes. Those cold little flickering eyes of amber, just like a glass of exquisite red. You just make me want to kiss you and hold you in my arms. Uh, <laughs> You're a bold one, aren't you? What? Wait a minute! You are you one of those men who likes other boys? I just can't help myself when I see something beautiful standing before my eyes. Daughters of serenity, sons of elegance. Supernatural, supernal, not melody, clinking magic, masterpieces and stories to be useful. And last but not least, the most exquisite food and drink. The things such as these are those which pique my interest. So you're perfect, just like I thought. Yep. Yeah, definitely a pervert. Uh, how simple is it that genius is misunderstood in every generation? I feel as if my delicate glass heart is about to be broken. You, with your magnificent black hair, please come for my time of me. I'm gonna have to pass. You've already scarred me for life as it is. I've heard strange conversations in my day, but this one is worth remembering. The look on on that kid's face. Ha! Ah. Hey! You three. Oh, the soldier from early. The general just returned. I just spoke to him about the matter and he said he meet you now. But really? Yeah, so come to the barracks with me immediately. <laughs> wow, that was much quicker than I thought. Yeah, now at least maybe we'll be able to find out what's going on. Okay then, let's be off, shall we? I like how Oliver is going to come with them, even though he hasn't actually shared his name. Why are you following us around for? Your timing is excellent. You didn't miss a beat in X thing behind us. It seemed almost natural. Yeah, really so. Ah, you know it. Everything about you all just seems so interesting. I thought I'd take a gander. Please, don't mind me. Carry on, my good gent and mademoiselle. Of course we're going to mind. Now get you. Shoot, shoot. What was that guy? Seriously, what was his deal? He's not normal, that's for sure. Getting rid of that weirdo is probably better not only for ourselves, but a service for the world at large, too. Now, let's hurry and meet the general. It's not fair, Estelle. He's not just a pervert. I could hear some arguing. Was there some kind of problem with another traveler? No, no, nothing big like that. That aside, could you let us meet with the general? Yes, he's inside. His office is the last one left. Make sure you don't go wandering around in other places before you're not fit. What a time to choose the yawn. Gosh, body. I actually think the stuff with Old Bear is really funny. Yep, they've got their own like little like hint, I guess. of interest to pop up except that guy. <laughs> the barracks. It's not 
I'll go right in there. Doors locked, okay. <laughs> Trying to use the mouse to move around is not quite as easy as the one would think it is. Okay, so we've got some folding cells here. That's awesome. I guess it makes sense because they're on the border. It's upstairs. Oh look! We're on top of the border! I'm on the border! On the run! Ben. I mean, now I have Ben on the run stuck in my head. Awesome. It's cool. Whatever. Okay. The end of the hall on the left. It looks like this is the general hall. Yep, that's not. All right, here goes nothing. Are you here on behalf of Mayor Mabel? That's right. Very well, come inside. Thank you for seeing. I'm glad you came, my name is Morgan. I have been tasked with guarding the hacking gate by Her Majesty Queen Louisa. It's an honor to meet you, sir. We're all here on the path. Please pardon our intrusion during such a busy time. There's no need to apologize. I've known Mabel since she was a child. Couldn't imagine ignoring her request much more from the mayor. Right then, would you please read this for me? And it over Mayo Mabel's letter. Hmm. So it's about the missing airliner, is it? Under ordinary circumstances, that information would be strictly confidential, but considering this is a request coming from her, I'll tell you everything I know. Sweet! Uh, why are you happy about something that doesn't concern you? Okay, check it out. The mayor appears quite distraught over the situation, and so we wanted to do anything we can to assist her. I see. Well, I'm glad to hear that she has been blessed with some good people around her. Let me get right down to things and explain the steps of her search on Please do. The airlander Lindy disappeared on its way to Roland after taking off from the Los Angeles port. Presently, we have units searching all areas of the region, but we have yet to come up with anything. So, what you're saying is the possibility of the incident being caused by monsters on accident by Splint, right? If an airship of that size had crashed, it would likely have been discovered in the initial search effort. Yes, that's exactly right. In fact, the flight route from Bosa and Roland goes over some planes that allow a commanding view of land. But of course, the probability of the airline of going down in Valeria Lake or the ocean is extremely low. <laughs> Boy, am I relieved to hear that it's probably not a worst case scenario like that. Yeah, considering you can move on it. So, if those have been rolled out, then that leaves the door open to the possibility that the airship will have taken rain. Which makes me think that the only remaining motives must be to the cargo or demand answer for the hospital. In other words, a hijack, right? Also considering the geographical condition, it could have been a covert operation carried out by the Imperial Army. And that would be really big news if that were the case. No, no, no. What's the matter, General? I was just thinking that that's quite an impressive assessment for some civilians. We also considered the possibility that the Imperial Army was involved to be of enforced strict regulation of the flow of information. An international incident, if taken lightly, could result in another war. War. But, thanks to the small mercy of Ida, the possibility for another conflict disappeared early this morning. The sort of organization sent a letter to the royal family, an orbital ship company, claiming responsibility and demanding a ransom for the passengers. Ooh, snazzy. 
We got a hostage situation. I love it when there's hostages in the world. Means we get to fight bad guys, guys. We need to fight more bad guys. I really enjoyed beating up just that. That was fun. She was not that tough. Oh, Alright, the first game of three. Whatever. This organization goes by the name of the Kapua family. The Kapua family? It, it can't be who I think it is, could it? It certainly appears to be that way. This guy has been operating in the shadow of the whole city, and I'm glad the three siblings at their head. I take it you heard of them. Not only have we heard of them, we just had a run-in with them in Roland. I just can't believe those good-for-nothing thieves have managed to create such a big incident here in Bose. Estelle! You've had a bull. a bull. I had heard that some of their gang had turned up in the Roland region for I thought the way you were able to analyze the situation was strange for me, absolutely. But I never would have guessed a girl with a couple of kids like you for Grace. Who are you calling kid? Just for the record, Mayor Mabel did in fact request that we come here and talk to you. Silent deceivers. Oh god. Get in here, man. He looks pretty good. This is how hard no military man acts in. Eh? What's the matter, General? Did these bitches try to pull anything funny? These racers need to show the door. Throw them out immediately. Then I'll bargain how the ads will go. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm so sorry, everybody. I am uh, having like. Kind of stuck today, so I feel a little more nasally than normal. And of course, you know, my nose is running, my eyes are running, and I'm just like not the absolute best. But I haven't streamed in a while, and I owe you guys better than that. So here I am, sorry. So if my voice is all sort of sound the same, that would be why. Also, I'm not really a trained voice actor, so I have some issues with keeping pitch and remembering just exactly which voice I was using for who. I think I've been fairly consistent with Estelle and Joshua, which is good since there are characters, but you know how it We do these things, we do. Alright. Just what is your problem, old man, trying to brush us off like bugs? You're not sick. Hiding your identity so you can try and finagle some information out of me. It's because you pull underhanded actions like that, the bracers can't be trusted. Just where do you get up calling it finagling? It's your own fault since you didn't share information with the guild to begin with. Nonsense. Who in their right mind would leave an incident this big in the hands of a mere civilian group? I swear, a little stupid things maybe could have tried to pull. Hiring a bunch of kids like this and getting in the way of our third party. How about cut it with the crap gentlemen? Why do you think we've had to come all the way from North to begin with? It's because when it comes down to it, your military morons can't do your job. <laughs> what did you just say? Only Eras really pissed off. For the past few months, you've known that chain of burglaries which seems to be the work of the Sky Bandits, right? And you who, knowing full well it was them, dumped the workload onto the guild instead of looking into it themselves like they should have at home. And now, the second this happens, you get on your high horse with an attitude, yet you've got nothing to show for it. Hostages or even the location of a missing airliner. 
Don't you think that's an embarrassment to the entire kingdom? Silence, girl! The military is an organization that wears a discipline and does not take action on a whim. Unlike a group of a group I know of who didn't think ahead and let the sky bait escape, so enough with your insolence. So you really want to fight, aren't you? How sad it, it is to see such discord. Strife brings nothing to be born, but only sends the barren wilderness within our hearts. Let us think of requiem for you all, one to soothe your parched soul. A gentle yet wistful tune to bathe your brittle spirits and cause the deserts of your heart to bloom. No one looks impressed. But. Okay, so. I'm not singing. It's not happening. Aha, uh -huh. it looked like you all understood what I was trying to get across. What is it that you is most precious above all? That's love and peace, baby. It's fucking vashed the stampede. I promise you, it's vashed the stampede. Um, I, I just, one, I don't really like to showcase singing. I'm not the best at it, and I feel very self-conscious about it. Also, um... I'm already nasally enough. You guys don't get that in, in, you know, suckered right into your brain. Besides, the music is really nice, and I would rather let you guys listen to that. It's not like, it wasn't like the same incidental music we've been listening to for a while. <laughs> I think it's about time. That's right, General. To get back to my duties and make sure you don't let those kids in again. Go oh, and cancel any further checks on the travelers along the Eisen Road. Having these kids around any longer will just be an eyesore. Right away, sir. Ooh, look at that pixelation of all of there. He ran away. I wish we could escape. He's still right behind us. Ha uh ha -huh. ha. No matter which country you visit, they'll turn on black or white. But you lot, on the other hand, appear to appreciate my aesthetic style. You know, maybe we should get going ourselves. Yeah, yeah, good idea. We had a bit of trouble, but we did manage to get some information. After we head back to Bosse, how about we make it our feet? Yeah. Where are you going? Wait for me. I mean, wait. Wait for me. Nobody appreciates you, Oliver. Let me try and introduce myself again. I'm Olivier Lenhead, a wandering bard and musician by trade. As you already know, I'm an Arab bunny, and sorry, you're fairly feral. I'm Estelle, and... Now, wait a minute. Why don't... Why do we have to introduce ourselves to you? Easy, Estelle. We did intercede for us back there. I'm Joshua. And I'm Sarah. 
things were getting pretty heated, and I'm glad you stepped in before something really bad happened. Let me just say thank you. You've got nothing to thank me for. I only did what any person who loves beauty and peace would have done. However, if you insist, how about going on a date with me for a day? I'm gonna have to pass on that. First of all, I don't have that sort of thing. That's too bad. Sorry, I'm, I'm having um, a couple of issues over here. I'm trying really hard not to tease. Okay, sorry. Now that uh, things have, now that I feel like I'm gonna sneeze every five seconds, let's uh, try and get back into this. That's too bad. Uh, that's also not how you ask someone out, the boy. All right, then I guess I'll look some Joshua as a substitute. What do I have to do with any of this? Please don't involve me in your questionable humor. Well, Bob, I didn't mean it. Saying that makes you even more questionable. Now, now, just a minute. How come you didn't invite me on a date? You? Uh, I don't know how to put this. You're a bit lacking in the sexy department. You might want to think about taking a lesson or two from your friend here. Ouch. Well, excuse me for not being sexy. And just what do you mean by saying I should take a few lessons from Joshua? C calm down, Asan. I think you're cute enough just the way you are. Though I guess it's true. You're a bit lackluster in the sexy category. What did you just say? And this is from the boy who actually likes her. Anyway, like I said before, we're busy. I'm sorry that there's not a better way to thank you, but we've got to get going. Then how about you take me along with you to the city of Bus?
This is my first time with Bear, after all, and I'd like to request a cut. Well, if that's all you then I don't know. Sharon, now just a second. So I used to be too, and we're headed to the same place anyway. Plus, acting as a guide is one of the bracers magic duty. Oh, alright, I guess we're stuck with him until then. But, but what if he tries to sink his poisonous fangs of blast into Joshua? Aw, oh, Estelle? Don't you worry, Joshua. I'll save you from his perverted attentions if he tries anything funny. <sighs> what is it exactly that you think he'll try? Please don't refer to me like I'm some sort of ferocious beast. I'd rather repeat that you call me a hunter of love. Even love's killer wouldn't be a bad, that bad of a title either. <laughs> Are you alright in the head? So how about it? Shall we leave the both day? I'm counting on you all to get me there safely. Now, let us be off. Who died and made you leader? Hey, wait a minute, you. I'm not done warning you about the grisly fate that awaits you if you sully Joshua's innocence. Okay, so Olivier has joined the party. Um, I actually like him. He is a bard, of course, like he said, and he uses guns, so that's kind of nice. Um... I mean, he's just... He is, um, special. I'm just gonna be honest here. So, let's, uh, let's get this shit started, shall we? By shit, I mean shit show. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got Olivier, and he starts at almost like 13. Um, says 12. And so are, are now Stella and Joshua are level 11. Okay, so he's, we're about the right level for this. I mean, we probably should have gone and, um, leveled up a bit more on the road, but, oh, wait, I forgot to see what ornaments he had. I'm really bad at this, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, so he's got, uh, a few good ones. Okay, so let's pop in... Um, good stuff for him. We'll get him that. And then... That is definitely good. Um, actually, let's give him this because it'll actually help us battle more the information plot. So let's just double check. Shara still needs two. Joshua needs two, and it's only one. Okay, so the information one is actually really, really good. Let's uh, let's save real quick. Nobody wants to do that again. Um. I think because I'm so stuffed up, I would rather not do voices for anyone right now because it's actually hard. When I dip down to do um, Olivier's or Shara's, there's actually tickling at the back of my throat that hurts. <laughs> it, it sucks so bad. So we won't be doing that. I will just be uh, saying the line, sorry. I don't know if anybody really cared about me doing voices. I'm trying to do that stuff to kind of separate some things out, but it's not really worked out today. Um, and I haven't really had any money 
uh, stay either way if they like or dislike it. So we will um, I'll just go with not doing it. Okay. Um, and just so you know, we're gonna um, I'm gonna post uh, my streaming schedule. We're gonna be streaming until things change, and I'll let you know when they change. Until things change, I will be streaming Tuesday and Thursday uh, afternoons, like generally about this time, um, until about four, and then I'll probably be streaming Friday night. And that'll be Rambo. So Tuesday and Thursday will be Trails in the Sky. And um, Friday nights will be Rambo. Saturdays. Um, so on the weekend, I do d and I'm a DM for one group. And I'm in, just in another group that my roommates DM. Yeah. So oh, I think they are fire, right? Yeah, they're super big to fire, so I'm gonna have everybody pop fire on. But yeah, so like my roommate DMs one game on every other Sunday, and I DM another game every other Saturday. Like we just had our, our Saturday group, so. So that's the thing. Um. So Saturdays and Sundays are going to be a little, like, iffy. I will try to do at least one day on the weekend. I'm going to say, like, um, I'll try to do this Saturday since uh, my room is going out of town and I'm going to have more time. I might do, like... I don't know, Final Fantasy 12 or Dragon Age. I can do Dragon Age, which is always good on, on the weekends. Um, no, I want... No, no, they reflect art. I remember that. So we will just do this. There we go. Thanks, Josh. Um, we'll have you do this on um, Mama Fur. You. Oh, wait, not you. No, 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 no. Um, crafts, turkey. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Yes. Okay, um, crafts. There's a small area. Uh, not like that. Um, let's just have her straight up. Uh, actually, yeah, let's just have a straight attack. Um, this guy. There we go. Um, I'm gonna it. I'll use fire. And then we'll just have Josh attack this guy. And then um, we will also have Nellis Mavia's turn. We'll have him attack this little guy. Yep. We still so got Thor. I forgot about his voice. Okay, so we've got a gunner, we've got a dual wielder, we've got a staff user, and we've got a whip user. So it's, it's pretty cool. The um the party is pretty balanced. Um I don't I think we do actually get more people later. Like we trade a couple people out. Like I know for a fact that Shara and Joshua are not or not Joshua is a permanent party member. But, um, I know that Olivier does not stay with us, so, um, that's a thing. But, um, Shara and Olivier pop in and out, so we will just, um, 
right now we're pretty well balanced. Um, Joshua and Estelle are getting a little more upset, so that's good. Let's try and get another fight. Good, good, good. Oh, look! All attacking. Oh, crap. Yeah. Okay, so attack, attack. Yeah, that guy goes first, but I'm uh, not sure. Oh, well, at least he missed too. Yeah, well, he did not. Okay. Actually, you know what? They are close enough together that we may be actually able to do that. Yep. That, oh, that tastes good. Okay, ooh, and we got strength up. <laughs> Plus he's long range, so we've got a little more leeway there. Okay, so that's Joshua and uh, Estelle leveling up. And Shara is actually not that far from leveling up herself, level 13. We've got one of uh, black and, and gold sets, so that's always nice. I kind of want to farm some more here, so. I think once we clear it, we have to like reset the whole thing. So let's, um, let's go. We don't have to go exactly right back to those things, so there's, there's the... That reminds me. Let's check our, um... Bracer notebook. Okay. So... We've got... A monster in the village. We've got... That one we already did. Um, and we've got... Scorpion. It's medium, and that's medium. Um, let's see. Okay, so that is the mine, and this is the the road with the monster. So, we're just going to have to fight through. Okay, so, um, here's the Yeah, we'll do this. And then, yay, fireball. Joshua, give us, oh, you don't even have enough, okay, go and hit this guy, ow, that's fine, uh, we hit him, so retaliation, that's gonna hurt, yep, okay, Cool story. Call for backup. Well, you're dead. That's awesome. Um, crap. Dual strike. Don't miss. Yeah, I'd rather you have that one. Um, oh, oh no, he can't. Crack. Okay. <laughs> um, so, fireball. I think it takes two of them. So we'll just do that.
we're just getting more of that with enough tender poultry to last a lifetime but um the recipe book potluck in a shell to buy more milk flour, but that, that's for later, Malka, we the shelf to deal with that. Um, okay, good, we good, good. So it's a little bit better, everybody's closer to full, like, Joshua and still not quite full, but we're good. Stuff crit. She actually does quite a bit of damage. Um, yeah, sure. It's not close enough. Uh, Olivia, please live up to your mouth. There we go. <laughs> Keep thinking that he's calling everybody kit. Like it's really starting to creep me out when he says, when he does that. So it's kind of crazy if you think he's saying kitten. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, to be honest. The, the voices in here are just so, um, they're so loud. I'll try and, I don't know, get the, their voices, their battle voices to go up. Because it's kind of disturbing not know what they're saying, and I'll just do that when we uh, get out of battle real quick. <laughs> enjoy the show. Okay, he said enjoy the show there, of course, um, which makes sense. I could use a little less tender poultry option. Um, voices on. I guess I should just turn it. Maybe I should turn it back up. Okay, I'm gonna turn this all down so you guys can hear me, but you can still hear the background music. Um, there we go. So I gotta leave the sound effects up so you can hear the uh, the voices better. <laughs> I mean, I'm not super crazy about the sound effects either, but I do like the fact that there are a bit of voices. Well, see, this is the East Coast Highway. I didn't say exactly where on the East Bosai Highway it was. So we'll just check. These guys are not going to give much um, uh, appearance at all. Let's just uh, get it over with. <laughs> Please stop. Okay. I mean, everything is dying. It's not dying quickly, but it's dying at least. Ugh. 
wasting an attack. Did I teach you nothing, Estelle? Oh, are we done already? See, this is good. Now, if I can only just get some more fire as well. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna... Yeah, you are super, super strong. Okay, so here's what we'll do. I'll do this. We will do this. And we'll do this. Yep, that's fine. You can do that. You do you. You will die before you get your chance, I think. Oh, Sweet baby Jesus, please. Oh, nice. Nice delivery. Yes. Okay, good. Good. Oh, God, he did say. Oh, God, that is so creepy. Olivia, no. Uh, I like that. Ugh. Gross. What is this? Oh, sorry, my friends are my meme. Oh, I feel like my life in airport, my directions get extra rough and need lemonades. Ooh. Our sky is missing, or is it? My power is your finger. I mean. I I'm very disturbed. I'm not sure what this is. It it's like those, uh, those word magnets. And, um, somebody just, like, took a picture of a bunch of random word magnets all popped together. It's just weird. Um, okay. Now that I'm disturbed, so good. Let's fight more of those. I don't want to have to give up Olivier. I kind of like having him around. Just because it's nice to have an extra... Uh, an attacker in the in the list. <laughs> as shallow of a reason as that is. <laughs> nice. Seems you came up short. Yes, yes, he did. He came up short. Congratulations. Um, okay. I'm turned the other way because of the trees. Alrighty, just one. That that's great. Ugh. You've had a strength bonus and you waste. You wasted Joshua. I'm so disappointed in you. Here we are. We will have Olivier fix it. Take that. Vipers. Um, okay. Oh, it's Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. Okay. Beast plus fire. If you stop water art. Yeah. Oh, you missed. 
cool story, bro. Racist. Um, crap. Hurricane. <laughs> Missed that one. That's cool. Um. Yeah, we'll go against that one. Ow. That one could actually be better. Let's see, what do you got? Quick draw. Ooh. Ooh, Livia. That's what we can do. Murder things. I like it. <laughs> Enjoy the show. I like it. Yes, yes. They get off fire as well. Okay. You have the critical. Don't miss. You have the critical. Good job. Good job. Don't miss when you have critical. Complete weight. <laughs> Seems you came up short. Yes, sure, I came up short. Okay. Oh, we got flaky potatoes. Okay, um... Alright, good. Just one! Like, pick on a spell day? You're not gonna poison her. I have her protected against that. Right. We rule. You know, despite the fact that I think she may be just a little bit homophobic. I mean, it, it's okay. I think, maybe? Sort of. Um, although, the way she reacted to Olivier flirting with Joshua and making moves to him. It reminds me, I don't know, if whoever's watching this has actually read or seen Marmalade Boy, but um, in Marmalade Boy, the main character, Mick, she gets this new, like, stepbrother. She's really trying hard not to have fun, but to be fair, his name is you, as, like, you, why you, you, um, He's really handsome and smart, and he's actually kind of funny. And he goes from treating her, like teasing her mercilessly, to you know being really kind and sweet. So it's like super confusing, you know. Whatever. He's he's kind of a jerk. She's very very naive, sort of like Estelle. Um, and Joshua. I guess I guess Estelle and Joshua are a good uh, correlation to it. <laughs> um. Except that Mickey's dark has the dark hair and you has the light hair. Anyway, um, so he starts meeting with this guy who's like a year. Yeah, he's only a year older than them. Um, they're, they're juniors in high school and he's a senior and he's a student council president. And like, they start spending time together and everybody thinks they're like some sort of like illicit couple, you and his, his new, now new friend. And uh, like Mickey's best friend is all like into it because, you know, she's a bit of a fu of Fujoshi. Um, but uh, Mickey is very upset about it. She gets super upset and she uh, threatens Miwa. That, that's the friend's name, and she like challenges him to some sports day thing at school. It's a pretty popular trope in Japanese stuff. But you know, so she's like trying to like prove that you's not um not into other boys, and that there's nothing like illicit about their relationship. And it's it's. 
it's all really funny and ridiculous and just over the top, but it also, it's kind of, it's a product of its time. It came out in the 90s in Japan, the mid-90s in Japan, and it didn't get here until 2001. And it was fairly popular here. It was very popular in Japan. Like it got its own, it, it got a really long TV series and a movie, and you know, it was only like eight volumes, uh, bound volumes, in uh, like manga form. I I don't know. Like I think it's like I want to say it's like fifty chapter in eight volumes. Um, so it's definitely like not super long it's not really it's not super short either but it's not super super long um and it was really popular it's still no it got it got more than that i think it got closer to 60 uh 60 chapters and i really enjoyed it of course, it's still really good. Like some of it is really like good, especially with how Enjoy the show. they handle some of the more serious, more serious of uh, topics. Um. Ooh, ooh, we got a new one for Shara. Yes, please. But um. So they tried really hard to like handle topics like um being a little bit of a teacher or uh what to do if you don't know who your parents are. Um just just things like that. A lot of it got handled fairly well. Like some of it was not handled well, like Mickey's whole reaction to Miwa and you getting close was super jealous. It was obvious she was jealous. But it was, you know, you're dealing with the whole first love aspect of life. Um, like first serious love. They deal with that a couple on uh, a couple of fronts. Um, you know, how to deal with jealousy, how not to deal with jealousy, um, Mickey and you both come into cases like that and they're both really bad at it. Um, actually so is their friend Genta, he's pretty bad. Um, like it, it covers a lot of topics, especially like if you're a teenager. Um, it obviously covers a lot more that are pertinent. I feel like I'm not going the right way. Hard to tell. Um, but I really enjoyed Marmalade Boy, but the reason why I bring it up is because, like, Estelle's behavior towards Joshua reminds me very much of Mickey's behavior towards you. And even you's behavior, or Joshua's behavior towards you all reminds me of you to um, Mickey. So, I mean, this came out in the early oddies, the like 2004? Something like that? So the early audience, and it, I mean, it might have been inspired by that. All right, we're good to go. But I mean, these are fairly common character tropes too, so hard to tell, honestly. But yeah, so I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh. But yeah, so like this r really reminds me of Marmalade Boy. Um, although I happen to like me well more than I like Olivier. Olivier. I keep trying to try and pronounce it the French way, which would be Olivier. Um, and I'm pretty sure that that's what they had in mind. Although in later, uh, later games, 
they put a T at the end. And his name is Olivier or Olivier or whatever. Oliver, which would also work, I suppose. It's just really dumb. Like, can, can you stick to one spelling and one pronunciation? Because I can see that you were probably um, looking to go for the German pronunciation um, all along because of his last name. His last name was, is very like German based. Um, it actually is very Scandinavian. Like, um, but it is what it is, honestly. And then here we are, we're at Bose. Hmm, so this is Bose, is it? It's much more urban than I'd imagine. That building over there is Bose Market now. Well, you seem to be quite knowledgeable. Are you sure this is really your first time on the barrel? Ha! I was smart enough. I was smart enough to buy a tourist guidebook before I left. One published by your very own Nobaro News, no less. A guidebook? Do they really sell such things? I don't know how to say it, but we really live in a convenient age. So do you intend to go shopping at the Bose Market now? Yep. But after doing a bit of window shopping, I plan to dress up and design out. According to the guide, there's supposed to be a three-star restaurant in town. Right, the place we ate at with the mayor, er... What I meant to say is, I guess this is the place. Yep, this is the place where we ate. The Anteros, authentic libero cuisine, or so they say. <laughs> Indeed, no doubt this is the place. I'm quite looking forward to it. But it's supposed to cost a pretty mirror if you decide to go over the full course now. I'd have to recommend a normal bar any day over this. Worry not, my fair lady. I've brought sufficient habit. And if that's not enough, I'll earn more with my superb skills. Superb skills. You're not talking about your songs and musical, uh, traditions, are you? You actually earn more with that crap. Huff started as the main opera singer at the Great Theater in the Arabonian capital before. Poor, poor Olivier. He try, he's trying so hard to be impressive. Estelle is not impressive. If I remember right, I once earned one million lira in a single night. Big fat liar. Alright everyone, good work. I guess this is farewell until fate brings us together once more. Adios, the new folks. Random Spanish talking. What horror have we unleashed upon this poor innocent city? Is everyone from a bony Arabonia a weirdo like that? I don't think I like the idea of that being empire stereotype. Huh? What I'm trying to say is that I think the majority of the people there are quite serious. I read in a book that their ethos respects the strong type. So what you're saying is that he's simply a weirdo because he's an artist. Now just hold up there, Estelle. If the artists of the world heard that, they'd be less than Let's see, we need to report the information we got out of the general to Logan. And it would be best if we let Mayor Mabel know after that, too. So first we visit the guild and then the mayor chart. Okay, let's get going. So you heard the guys. We're going to go to the mayor's resident, or to the guild, and then we're going to go to the Here's the guild. Um, so they dropped the hints pretty heavily, but I think Joshua might actually be from We got short. The problem with that is that we didn't find it here, and the, that's the uh, revenue mine. So let's see. We might be able to do it and still share it with us. That's 
Sophia. Okay, so that is the East Coast Bay Highway. So the monster we're after is this way. So we, we were on the right direction. <sighs> A little bit all over the place today. I'd apologize, but I'm like this all the time. So it's just me. Okay, let's get this over with. Come on, Estelle. Do your thing. Okay. Um. I think Olivia will be back later. Like, we actually get separated from Sherazai not too long from now, but, um, <laughs> seems you came up short. But yeah, like we don't, we don't stay with Shara all the time either, but I'm pretty sure he comes back. That way we actually learn those recipes. these kind of art, but I have to assume that they'll do normal damage. Okay. Yeah, see, that, that's better than the healthy, like, couple of damage you do with the little attack. magic misses, so that's something to think about, but, um, yeah. Ooh, HP 2 times 1. Let's see, 4 of them. I to open up one of her, so I can pop at each in there. That'd be nice. Not that she really needs it, but something to hold on to. Okay. Let's just get rid of this guy real quick. I 
that I do not have anything against snakes. I like snakes. Actually, when I was a kid, I used to go out with my younger brother, um, and uh, our two cousins. My younger brother and I are three years apart, and I ha we have cousins that are like one year younger than me and one year older than him, so they fit right in between us. So the four of us are like, like I'm eight. One, uh, my cousin R is seven. My cousin E is six, and my brother N is uh, five. So we're all out, and we are out trying to find snakes and frogs and things like that. I was a really huge tomboy, like, so huge. And like, even though I had a cousin, um, my cousin L and my cousin V were both girls, the only two other girls in the family. Um, like, they were girly girls, sort of. And uh, L was a year older than me, and V was two years older than me. And, um, like, my cousin L was actually the same age as my brother M. And they are, but they never, like, played with me, not really. Like, my cousin Elle would sometimes let me play with her Barbies uh, if I was over at their house and I didn't have my, like, anything to play with that I wanted to play with. She would sometimes let me play with her Barbies. Um, so that, that was a thing. Oh, are we done um, already? But normally she didn't have the time of day for me because I was a tomboy and she was a girly girl and she wanted to spend most of her time, um, you know, playing dress up and doing our hair and, you know, get putting on makeup and things. And she was always hanging out with, um, this friend of her mom's who my mother would never let me be around because I'm pretty sure, um, he was an undesirable. <laughs> He, he gave me really creepy vibes as a kid, and my mom just never let me be alone with him. So I never, like, asked, but my cousin Elle was, like, always hanging out with him, or her her friend Sarah, or, you know, something like that. And so I always spent time with boys. Like, there were so many boys. Like, my cousin, or my aunt, um... Like, I want to say my Aunt M, but all of my aunts, my mom, and my uncle all have M names. So, it doesn't make sense to call her uh, my Aunt M. But one aunt had one son. And then the sister who, like, okay, so um, my mom's, like, generation of family went my uncle to my mom. We're good and then all their sisters so like they had five girls in my life and then so like my uncle was the oldest and then my mom was the second oldest and then she had all her sisters but um so like my mom had five kids and then my uncle had one and then the, the sister that was born after my mom had one. She only had one. Um, and then my aunt, the, the like, I, I guess she's technically a middle child. She had seven kids. Pretty much back to back. Like, she had, um, my cousin T, my cousin B. My cousin B, my cousin L, and then she took a year off, <laughs> and then she had my cousin R, and then she had my cousin E, and then she kept took two years off, and then had my cousin uh, A. So it was just, yeah, she had she had someone oh, get we done already? and a uh, pretty like in less than a decade. I think. I'm, 
My cousin A was born, I was five. Yeah, because, um, my brother N was two, he was pretty young. Um, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, I was really little, but I remember, um, because at the time we, we lived with my cousin, my aunt and all of her kids. So I like we grew up together in the same house, and uh, we uh, <laughs> I just remember being really little, and we lived in this house in on a street called Chapel, which they later tore down, but. This house lived was like next to like, um, like kind of like a, a swampy, like foresty type city area. It's really hard to, to describe. Like, okay, so I grew up in in Cincinnati, Ohio, um, and like in the city part of it, not like the suburbs, but like the actual city part, and um. There was, we lived in a house at the end of the street, and in the space to one side was another house, um, with, like, people who were friends with my aunt, my mom, and, you know, blah, 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 but on the other side of us was a space that was pretty much, like, there used to be a house, but it burned down, so it was just, like, a, an abandoned lot was like brick crumbling brick facade blah 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 and um you could tell there used to be a house but then it was so long ago that everything was just like destroyed it was literally all just you know um it was all just like foresty and, like if none of you have ever been in um to Cincinnati so like that part of Ohio used to actually be um because it sits in a river valley it's pretty swampy in a lot of parts of town uh parts of it especially the closer you get to the Ohio River it gets really swampy um so like there were lots of Thick, like swampish plants, and we'd go play in there all the time. Like I would, I would break out because the poison ivy was so bad, so bad. Um, and it didn't matter. Like my mom would be like, "Don't go over there. Put on some, you know, wear long. If you're gonna go outside and play, put on some long pants." You know, make sure you're wearing long sleeves. I um I did not <laughs> because I was a dumb kid. I did not. Um, <laughs> I did what I wanted. So as a consequence, I ended up breaking out, and I'm and I'm super super allergic. To, Poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, all that super super allergic because I got, you know, all the delicate fair skin in uh, my mom's family. Got it all. Probably got some from my dad too. Let's be honest here. Let's not just blame all it all on my mom, but I, I got super delicate skin. Um, and it didn't matter. I, I was out there with my cousin. We were playing. And we used to catch snakes. Um, and, and frogs and bugs. I remember um, one, one year we actually found... Oh. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, boy. Um...
but yeah, so like, I, um, I just remember, like, doing whatever as a kid, I mean, just, I would get poison ivy, and I'd have to have calamine lotion, like, practically soaked all over me, like, I would be, like, just covered in it, ugh, it stinks so bad, and it stinks, and, you know, it doesn't feel that great, like, I also had chicken pox, too, one year, so, let's just talk about that, shall we? Chicken pox is the worst. I'll just do this real quick, so we get on the line. But, uh, yeah, so, it's still fun to watch as a kid. Because <laughs> it was either that or be in the house We're good to go. with all my cousins and their friends. And my, you know, whatever adults were there who were supposed to be supervising us. Um, we didn't really have much supervision, I'll be honest. It was a different time. Like, we used to, like, we used to go out and do whatever we wanted. I'll be honest. Um, it was not like we had, we did not have, like, we weren't, like, I want to say we weren't uh, heathens, but we kind of were. We were kind of heathen. We we just did whatever we wanted. Um, we weren't bad kids. We just were wild. Like, we would catch snakes and we would play with them and things like that. But we would always like um, return them back. get turned around but we I don't know how it happened but we got turned around so yeah but so I, I don't hate snakes I actually like them I think they're cool and they're fun um they're not slimy their scales are actually very cool to touch um I think they're shedding their their scales their skin it's pretty awesome um I know a couple of breeds that can shed their skin. Um, they can't really do it to get away if they're being attacked, but they leave super awesome looking like shed skin. Um, so that's a thing. Um, I'm just rambling, I know. But I like snakes. I do. I think snakes are pretty cool. Hi to whoever's watching. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Um, so, yeah. I, uh, think as far as like, like, I don't really mind. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sell the life. I don't like bugs. I've never really liked bugs. <laughs> like, my cousins and my brother would go after bugs and stuff, and I'm like, no, thank you. I will just say no. Like drugs. Nope. Not interested. Um, but if we were going after snakes and, like, even, like, rodents, I was okay with. Um, never really had a problem with that. So, like, all, all of my friends and things were, like, afraid of, like, oh, no, it's a mouse. Oh, no, it's whatever. I, I didn't have a problem with that. I was fine. Um. Okay. So, we actually, that's how we got turned around. We get, we are getting turned around because we're running around to fight. And I am not paying attention to me. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. But, yeah. So, it's, it's a thing. Um, 
but yeah. So, I've never had a problem with bugs, well, not bugs, I'm sorry, with snakes, or with, you know, little vermin animals. Like, we used to, like, see possums all the time in the woods. And I used to go, like, um, try to catch them, which is dumb, I know, because of, you know, like, rabies, things like that. Just stupid. But I was also, like, 10, or I was, I was, like, younger than 10. I was like, All right. We're good what the hell did I know? <laughs> I just wanted to catch the really cool, like, animal that we, we were seeing. Um, so yeah, I, I was a stupid kid. I'm gonna avoid that. I kinda just wanna fight the thing that I need to fight with the, um, quest. So I don't really wanna fight any kind of random encounter. That's not it. No, that's not it either. Okay. Moving, so. Like the monsters that you go after for the quest usually um are still wish I had Olivia to be honest um there was something um Valley. Oh, oh wait, is that it? No. What the hell? Huh? Like the last two were just like pretty obvious in the middle of the road. Supposed to be here, isn't it? Okay, this is a dungeon, so we're not gonna have a map, but Ferocious monster known as a master of prion has besotted roving the Nebel Valley. the fact that the difficulty is medium, I mind that the fact that reporting time is short take up. I'm definitely okay with that as a as a murder. Oh, bugs. Um, I don't actually know what to do. Um I everything is pretty much the same on them. So Oh, 
that's pretty close. That. Wow. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Seems you came up short. Let's see. So we're walking around here. Ooh, that's rickety. An ice packer. It's literally called an ice packer. Um, let's see, let's not hit it with water. Okay, so water is not really effective against it. Fire is, but I don't know how many fire beasts are cracks with Joshua. So let's go ahead. From me, spell kill it. Close, close. No scar, though. Oh my god, it, it's got one health. But yeah, that's why we don't like them. Now, Joshua is frozen. This. You're first. Wait, you guys have enough stuff for that. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Not a lot. Oh! Ow! That's not good. Okay, you're dead. I'm okay with that. Mmm, so close. Okay. Do that. Art. Um, that will be that. Have him here. He'll still get the heal. Yeah, which he desperately needed. And we'll go. <laughs> Seems you came up short. To leveling up, though. Holy mother of freaking feet. Okay. That's cool. Cool story, bro. Alright. Fireball. That guy. You're almost dead. Now you're fully dead. Which I am more than comfortable with. Ah, oh, you missed. How did you miss Joshua? You're dead. Like a rock, please die. I'm very too point with my my insinuation. You hurt me. I don't like being hurt. So now you have to die.
That's for the villain's fault. Why can the spell gone first? Okay, okay. Oh, are we done already? We're gonna level. Hallelujah. Oh, flicker. Nice. Nice, we got a new craft for Joshua. Let's let's take a look. That's the first um, upgrade for him that we've gotten. Like, we got a hurricane and Tom for uh, Belle. The first one we got for her. And we got Vine Whip with uh, Sherazard. But, yeah. Okay. Probably make this work. Takes 30. Okay. Um. Hey, Joshua, go and hit this guy. Art. Fireball. That guy. Art. Fireball. That guy. Nice. Nicely done, Effect. Okay. Crap, flicker. Oh no! Nothing's lined up! Okay, it's so not worth to use. Okay, but it looks so good. I want to use it, but I can't. I don't have a good... Oh, but man, he just murdered that beetle. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, fireball. That guy. Uh. Oh wait. No. <laughs> out of range. Okay. Still out of range. Okay. So out of range for any attack. So okay. Gotcha. We're good. I'm gonna kill him in his sleep. And I do not feel bad if <laughs> I'm okay with him dying to sleep. Honestly. So long as it's not me. I'm a terrible person. This is really good for level. I should have come here before. Lighter. The heck? Oh wow, we got... We got his gun. Um, a good luck charm carried by hackers to combat the cold prevents freeze. Okay, okay, yeah. Quit. <laughs> Lighter. Um. That's cool. I want more. Let's go ahead and save though. You're a snowman and you're weak to fire. We're just gonna assume that everything here is weak to fire, which is probably a safe bet, honestly. <laughs> um, since we're basically in the mountain. Um, 
Um, crap, I don't know what it hit. You're fine. I'm not lined up, but I want them to do. Please line up so I can murder you properly. Oh my god, you missed on both strikes. Okay. That's gonna suck. Oh, ow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Look at that. Got him. And he's poison. <sighs> he is he is getting seriously low, folks. Okay. That's that then. Let's move out. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um, yeah. So Dash was looking a little rough. Just a little. It's okay. We're, we're gonna take care of that. Um. Oh, it's not let me talk. Okay. I'll make it. I'll make more of it. Um, okay. Um, make one of those. Okay. Okay. Item. Yeah, I don't like here's the thing. Yes, yeah, we'll use this. Not use that. Uh, let's use the stuff that's actually pretty easy to fix. I can make a point to make more of. There's three of them. Okay. That would be nice if I could use it. Go ahead and take that out. I don't like it. Okay. Go regardless, I might as well. Thank you, you missed. 
You did not, however. You're also dead. And you suck. Okay. Back. Good job. Oh, are we done already? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Try colored rice. That's a new ingredient we haven't gotten before. You know what else we haven't got? Treasure chest. This entire freaking dungeon. There's no way I could have avoided that, honestly. Um, but I think I might run. I'm getting kind of tired of fighting this. Ow, this sucks so bad. You know what I like? Oh, crap, like a... Oh, fucking... I love you, Estelle, but you missed. This, this is where we go. Oh, what was that one? Okay. Item. Yeah, I kind of need a stuff not to die, and I figured that he would actually try to hit her, so. That was all I could give with a critical? Are you freaking serious? Don't miss, Joshua. Oh my god! Okay! Nice story, bro. You missed. Uh, art. Might as well. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I really need her to not kill him just yet. Death Hill. So there we go. Good job, Joshua. All right, we're good to go. I was gonna run, but I just I don't see any reason in running. Doesn't mean I was sitting here. Oh, up here all freaking day it's fighting me. Oh, straight to R, huh? Quit. Yeah. Uh, 
didn't affect her movement. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You've taken everything from me. Everything. You only had one thing. Of course I took everything. Okay, so that's a dead end. There we go. I need to keep my eyes open for more of them. If it's devoid of things to fight, I have been there before. This looks like a rest point. I believe that's exactly what this is. You've done rather well to make it up to this place. There's not much I can offer you to make yourself comfortable. Okay. Thanks, guy. Um, so this is a perfect place to stop. Um, we did pretty well. Uh, we will picking this up on Thursday. Yeah, we'll pick this back up on Thursday. Um, we've done pretty well. Uh, we'll do more quests and stuff then. We did we did a lot with like Olivia and things like that, but uh, it's 3:33 Eastern Standard Time here, so I'm gonna call it. But uh, thanks for showing up. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, uh, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Um, all my socials will be linked in the bottom. There's also my, um, Streamlabs link, both here on Twitch and on YouTube. Go ahead and donate to the channel. The more money I get, the more money I can spend on, you know, getting better games. So, so like, I can play... Like once we get to the Trails of Cold Steel, uh, Trails of Cold Steel, I can get Trails of Cold Steel third on uh, PS4, you know, things like that. Um, money I have right now has to go for things like oh I don't know, food, bills, you know, standard stuff. But donation, every little bit helps. But until until next time, everybody, thank you for stopping by. Mwah. Love you.